It's mainly about female friendship and our journeys as characters. We're usually just playing accessories to storylines or not fully fleshed out characters mm. um, or just foils, character foils. Uh, so it was really fun to like explore a character in, in such depth and um, also like they're, they're quite nuanced characters as well. Like, um, so it was, it was a real challenge and it was fun to like collaborate with Mm. Um, Brian and um, Mel and Brad and like feel like I actually have a stake um, and a say in how the project goes and the filming process. And, and what do you think, what do you think the, the, the story says about people's personas and the projection of personas with regard to... I mean, well, Simona said something really good um, earlier about how gaming um, as an art form can really help people with their own social anxiety and that and I think there's too like in terms of internet the internet which is different from gaming but to be able to communicate with people from across the world that might be in your in your community mm. um, whether it's a, a, an art community or um, anything that you wouldn't be able to communicate with otherwise if we didn't have the internet and I think that Gaming also does the same thing, is that it allows you to explore parts of yourself that you don't feel comfortable necessarily exploring in the real world, which is very sudden and um, can be really harsh if you're tr experimenting with a part of yourself. Um, the world doesn't usually react well to people doing that, so I think uh, there's a positive side to, to gaming and um, alternate realities. I mean, what, do you, what do you think the reaction will be from the audiences when it, when it comes to sort of the interpretation of where the future is headed, where how, how, you know, how, how people spend their leisure time, how people react with one another in a, in a, in a, in a uh, virtual space. Yeah, I think like when, when I was really into games and I would spend like hours or even like days playing The Sims, like I got quite addicted. How addicted? Like I would, spend the whole summer holiday inside playing Sims because I have allergies and I can't frolic like the rest of the kids. So I found them. my own friends <laughs> on, um, on Sims. Um, you made and, them yourself. And, yeah, I made them myself. So I had complete control over it. These are all it. my friends. And they love me. I made them all. Yeah, and I had all my children and my husband. <laughs> and like I had like the perfect hair and everything. It was, it was so like Idyllic. I didn't. My sim didn't have to detangle this. She just woke up and she went. Like it was great. So I think it was quite an immersive experience to me. So I think this potentially reflects what could be like the future of um, uh, social media and the gaming experience and the, the direction in which it's heading.